Well, good evening, everybody. This is WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. Hope you all have a good evening so far. Well, we're going to start out uh, today as talking about the lack of snowfall that we have gotten, or the lack thereof, uh, for the month of December. As you notice here, we should be seeing about 17 inches of snow for the entire month of December. Guess what, how much we received? We didn't even get to half, guys. We only saw five inches of snow for the entire month, which is well below average for this time for, for the month of December, 12 inches to be exactly, guys. So again, if you like the warmer temperatures and the lack of snow, well, this was the month for you. This was the second warmest month on record. This is going back to records of 1916, guys, 1916. And guess what? 34.5 degrees was our average high temperature for the whole month. Only 2015 was the warmest, was warmer, and that was at 36.5 degrees. So yes, it was definitely warm. It was still above average for your day today in Alpino, a high temperature of 37 degrees. Now we did drop down to 16 a little bit earlier this morning, thanks to some clearing that we had in the, four, in the area. Cause again, clouds began to increase as it went throughout the afternoon hours. Normal high, a record high was 50 back in 1998. And negative nine was the record low back in 1924. Sunset is at 8:13. Sun goes goes sunrise at 8:13. Sunset at 5:05. Now, of course, if you wake up and up early in the morning, what well, we're gonna wake up to some snow uh, showers in the area. Same thing for your afternoon hours. More so in the afternoon is gonna be your best chance to see some snow in the forecast here. So again, heading out in the afternoon hours, whether you're going to pick up the kids from school or school or kids coming home from school. Roads could be a little bit slick, so again, I advise you to take your time and be a little bit careful. And this is going to be all associated with a cold front, guys. And once that cold front comes through, our temperatures will drop off. We're going to be only in the 20s as we go through the day on your Thursday here, guys. But we are going to warm back up as we go through Friday into this weekend, even to early next week. But our snow chances will become or be on the increase as well. Now, of course, temperature outlook indicates that we're going to be above average. In terms of our temperatures, this goes from the Great Lakes all the way through to the northeast. And it's going to go through January the 11th. Look out west. That's some colder air that's going to be heading in our direction. I know I talked about this last week, guys, where some really some uh, bitter cold air is going to be heading in our direction. It's going to be right around the middle of January. Well, this is kind of proof that this is going to be uh, heading in our direction as we go through the middle to towards the end of January. So, yes, winds, well, they're not that bad right now. They're about 5 to 10 miles an hour sustained. But if you uh, put them out there right now, it's about 15 in Alpena, 20 in our school, 21 mile an hour gusts so far at Tawas. 22 in Atlanta, 16 in Rogers City. So yes, it is quite breezy out there, guys, which you know makes it feel a little bit colder than the actual air temperature. Now, again, we don't have any precipitation in our forecast, but guys, we know that that's going to begin to change as we go through our day on our Tuesday where snow showers will be developing. And it's gonna be ahead of a cold front that's gonna come through the area here. And so I'm gonna stop it right here around 12 or one o'clock in the afternoon, again, after lunchtime. Most of the people will be either at work or coming in from their lunch break. Well, we're gonna start seeing some snowflakes flying around the area. Now, the good news, we're not gonna have to worry about any sort of accumulation with these snowfall uh, for your day on your Wednesday. But again, snow is gonna be in the forecast. Then Thursday and Friday, we dry out. And of course, as we go through your Friday, we will begin to see clouds increase ahead of more snow for this weekend, which I'll show you in a seven day forecast. Now, again, if you are going out, the biggest chance to see snow will be around nine, 10 o'clock in the morning. And it's gonna linger until about maybe dinner time, guys, or uh, after rush hour. So yes, again, going out, heading out on, a, on Wednesday evening, be careful, cause roads gonna be a, little bit, a little bit slick. Tonight, we're going to see mostly cloudy skies. Again, this is ahead of the snow that's going to be hitting in our area. Low temperature is going to be about 31 degrees in Roger City. Same thing in Alpena. 30 degrees in Harrisville, 32 and on the way to 29 at right West Branch in Oscola. And 30 degrees will be the low temperature in Tawas. So tomorrow, well, we're going to see the snow showers, especially in the afternoon hours here, guys. Again, high temperature is going to be about 34 degrees in Roger City, 36 in Alpena, 37 in Harrisville. Oscola and Tawas at 34 in on the way. Winds will be out of the west at 10 miles an hour with gusts as high as 20 miles an hour. So yes, 33 degrees is my forecast high. 
I'm forecasting about 33. I don't think we're going to get enough sunshine to help warm our temperatures up. So I'm going to keep it a little bit lower. And then we're going to be dropping as a cold front comes through the area on a Thursday. And that's our temperatures down. Then, of course, on Friday, we're going to be uh, dry with 33 degrees. Clouds will increase as we go through the afternoon hours to hit more snow for this weekend into this early parts of next week. Temperatures hold steady into the lower to mid 30s as we go through the early part of next week. Well, this has been WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. I hope you all have a good evening.